Hi, um, welcome to Destiny Dice, a D&D &D live stream. Um, I'm Rogue Dragon, and today we are finishing up a one-shot called Gardens of Hog. It's a module created for a charity by TakeThis.org, an organization dedicated to help improve mental health awareness and understanding, as well as reducing some of the stigma around mental health. Um, if you are interested, I'd like to encourage you to go watch it. Um, it's not perfect, but you know what? I, I'll, I'll move on. I, I I put in more music this time. I'm really hoping that'll help. So the Gardens of Fog was created by um, medical professionals, or at least they were medical professionals were consulted. Mine has a lot, several liberties I took, but I, I promise I wanted to reassure that I did try to keep as much of it, as much of what they were trying to teach, and those essential bits um, still together. Uh, I want to say thanks again for everybody for for joining us. Rasmachaz, Littlest Neverland, Scott, Miranda, and Little, Literal Tester. And also, I want to thank the Destiny and Dice crew for all their support. Well, I mean, might as well just dive right, right in. Just a brief recap. In the town of Quartzbottom, a festival is be being held. Asha, the Le Leonin, Leonin fighter, Arwena, the satyr druid, Marcus, the Aarakocra cleric, Otis, the changeling bard, and Victor, the Aladrin cleric. Are all in town visiting a friend of her, a friend of theirs. Their friend is Jenna Dubreeze, a halfling. She runs the Wanderer's Hearth Inn, which has taken in many weary travelers over the years. Jenna and her father, before his death, would often help desperate travelers free of charge. But now Jenna needs your help. Jenna's boyfriend of many years, Moshi Greenhill, took this opportunity of her being amongst so many of her friends, both visiting and local, to propose to her. Jenna's happy moment was cut short when fiendish, fiendish magic overwhelmed her and she collapsed. Most of the crowd were unaware that her faint was anything more than just nerves. But the five of you were among a handful of people who thought maybe something else was up. Victor and Erwina thought that they could even hear the cackling of a witch the moment Jenna fell. Bringing Jenna to a local medic's home, Rurik Eversharp, a dwarf cleric of the mind, of the mind domain, also known as a psychomancer, recognized the magic that was affecting Jenna as that of a night hag. This hag had turned Jenna's mind against her. Using his, his unique magic, the psychomancer performed a ritual that took you into her mind so you could help her battle her inner, inner demons. Jenna's mind took the form of a large, beautiful, but sickly and dying garden cloaked in fog. You follow the sound of Jenna's screams down the path of mangy red feathers to, into the skittering woods, a forest with, crawling with insectoid noises, briars, thorns, and trees that appeared to be bleeding. Here you found a fragment of Jenna's psyche, trapped, by, trapped in a cage of th thorns by a, ma a mangy air cocker creature. Uh, physical manifestations of your own inner anxieties rose to fight each of you with cruel words of exaggerated fears. When you kill the last of these anxieties, you now have to face the master of this lair, a creature called Kaviti, <clears throat> who starts screaming at you. No, no, no! <sighs> Clutching his talismans, you notice. Originally, he'd been covered in these talismans. Uh, but now, not so much. I don't want to take this opportunity to go ahead and show you that what his the original token with some of his talismans look like and now his current one all of his t talismans are broken except for one is severely cracked that's the one that he clings to and says i still have one i still have power over you our faceless bird here you're wasting your time here aren't you you know in that festival some of that big big festival there was there was probably somebody who recognized you. Word got sent out. Bounty hunters are on their way as they speak. Did you guys see the, the thing I put up or not? So nothing popped up on roll 20 for Dang me? Uh, we'll try that again. Alright. Did you see that? Okay, that's what Kaviti looked like yeah. with his talismans. And this is what he looks like now with his, uh, with most, most of them destroyed. 
<laughs> and he Ooh. is hopping back and forth. Um, well, I mean, at the moment, now that we're in initiative, he is snarling at you. And he's also stopping every once in a while just to snarl at Jenna, just to make sure she's still afra afraid for her life. And we can pick up uh, in initiative right away, or if you guys want, we can even roll initiative again and start and start this new encounter all over with with Kiviti, who is now who is now vulnerable to your attacks when he was before. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's up to you. Um, yeah. What yeah. would you prefer us to do? Um, I want him to be higher in the list. Because <laughs> he's so a roll seven. again. <laughs> cool. We, we roll again. <laughs> Rolling right. again. Sure. The least out there. Rolling roll again. again. Rolling again. Well, you could just have like a round of them trying to figure out what's going on. Ah, oh, heck. <laughs> Last. <laughs> oh, dear. Decent. Not bad, but could have been better. Ew. I should have told you guys to clock on your tokens. I'm so far <laughs> down. Oh, oh no! <laughs> nice. Victor, no! Oh my god, three eights? Wow. I'm just really distracted back here, guys. I'll be okay. <laughs> it's probably the open <laughs> the door. This whole yeah. adventuring thing is definitely not for me. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Poor Victor. <laughs> just, just remember, it's still not as bad as my first initiative roll in my real life game, uh, where I got a negative one. Nice. Oh, rough. How? That's tough. Uh, seven decks, and I rolled oh, a okay, one. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Wow. That is impressive. <laughs> yeah. All right. You don't need decks as much when you're a pally. It's true. All right. Well, knowing that his time is coming, Kaviti is going to use an lair action as his, to start this off. Oh. Is that my cue? Yeah. All right. I don't remember which one I used last. Well, it's a new battle. Oh, okay. Brand new day. Well, being open. You can hit molten rock right there. But I get. Asha and Marcus to roll a deck save. Oh, no. Alright. Here we go. Right, my cat decided to join me. Aww. <laughs> Kitty. Oh, we didn't close the door. My cat might be annoying at some point. <laughs> deck save. I don't know where mine's at right now. I just hope she's not getting the too much shenanigans. Oh. Whoops, my bad. There's my save. Alright. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even look. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you've all saved, so you get. Okay, and uh, half of that would be six, so you each take six damage. As molten fire, yeah, molten fire, or is it called? molten rock erupts from the point on the ground between you guys. You both dodge most of it, but you still take six fire damage. All right. You. Um. Um. We take six damage. Yes. Uh. Wait. I think I might be dead. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, oh no! Because six oh. is my current hit points. Yep, oh, so you're no. down to zero. 
It'll put you in uh, unconscious mode in D and D Beyond. It should. All right. Oh. Marcus is just passed out. Feathers, you know, flutter from him as he hits the ground. Oh. Slow mo. Okay. Insert right. tragic music. It's like the opposite of the dramatic doves. The mm -hmm. burning Aarakocra as it falls to the ground. Oh. <laughs> so upsetting! <laughs> Otis? You ready? Yes. I just need to double check the range. How many? I got four of these slots. Okay. Uh... Is a tree. One, two, um, three, four, five. I think it comes out to about here. So, well, you might have the last. Oh, you're good now. All let right. Me, let me double check range. Ah, yeah, that's enough. I can reach him there. Oh, by the way, I did want to re restate the um the help action will still work. Um, against Kaviti. So if you take the dodge action, which will give um, any attacks against you disadvantage, and your throw dex throws are at advantage. And you also have to sit, um, interact and be encouraging to uh, the person who you're helping, and they get a buff to their if they hit on their next turn. Cool. That's great to know. Otis is not going to do that. <laughs> um question, though. Does Kaviti have any metal objects on his person? Well, at least a couple of his tokens uh, were made of gold. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna do it. I am going to cast Heat Metal. Uh, let's see. Can you click the VTT? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I'm targeting something metal, gold, maybe, on his person. So, make a con save throw, or, uh, yeah. Or take 10 fire damage. I don't see the con save. Alright, it was 12. Uh, save would be... What is my save? 13. Okay, so he fails. Is my... Nice. Can't then I up. think he takes 10 fire damage. Excuse All me right. for a second. What happens if you look at it? It's just the con. And then uh, Otis will say uh, after he casts it, sure, they might be out there, but you're in here with me. Excellent. Um, yeah, so it says if he fails, he uh, drops it, right? Can he drop it? Does that change anything? Oh. I mean, they might... They, um... So he takes damage when I cast the spell. Um, yeah, that was the 10 feet you did earlier. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it will continue to take damage unless it drops the metal object that is heated. I'll in that case, he probably is going to ditch all the rest of his uh, his trinkets just to protect himself. Well, that would be on his own turn, maybe? That would happen on his turn. All right. Marcus? Oh, he did break them because he failed the Constitution. So. Yeah. Um, are you done with your turn? Is that, is that all for you, Otis? Yes, that is my turn. Great. I guess... Can you roll a death saving throw? 
Uh, me? Uh, no, uh, uh, Barkus. Yep. No problem. D20. All right, so go ahead and mark one success on your own sheet. All right. All right. All right. Now it is Kaviti's turn. He is, what is this, five speed? Six speed. He is going to target I think he's going to target Erwino. And it's going to come down. <laughs> it is going to come down on her with a slam attack. So jump down here, using the momentum. Let's see. 24 to hit. Okay. Uh, for eight damage. Mm. That's a juicy number. All right. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, it's your turn. That's my turn. Well. Yeah. Well. Oh no, I don't know what I'm. Uh. Okay, I've got time. So I'm then going to. Oh, I had so something prepared and it has disappeared. That's lovely. Um. Uh, let me just. I'm gonna do. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm going to be doing scorching ray. And I will display it for you. Uh, and I guess cast. Well, and this is all, all three rays are going for Kaviti. Okay. Um, so let me do it twice more. Da da. Ooh. Okay. Yes. There. Oh, nice. All right. So that is at least one of those hit, right? Yeah, that okay. that crit hit. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. That did damage. Nice. That's what I like. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I can't do the other thing I wanted to do. I will use uh, some of my movement to uh, move over to, uh, next to Marcus. Or, sorry, yes, no, next to Marcus. <laughs> well, that would invoke an attack of opportunity. Oh, no. Well, uh, let's not do that then, unfortunately. I'm sorry, I want to help you, but it's I also... Okay. Will, I think I will also die if I move, so... That's what Marcus where I would have wanted for you not to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my turn then, um, because I don't have a bonus action that I can run. Alright. Um, I'm going... <laughs> so I see... Oh no, Marcus! And... I look back at Otis. Otis, can you help Marcus? I'm not good with this. And then I'm just, I'm going to go up and help Irwina. So enter combat range and I'm going to use my Leonin uh, special trait, Daunting Roar. Just let out a roar. And, and try to frighten him, so I need a wisdom save. Give him some of his own medicine. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to make a wisdom save DC 11. 
Oh, oh no. It was 11. Oh. Just 11. Yeah, if it meets it, it beats it. So yeah, 11 beats it. <laughs> Sadly. So he is not frightened of me. Um, which is a bummer. But he's but, close. He got close. He's close. He's close. Anyway, I will make an... As I finish my roar, I'm going to follow through with a longsword attack. One-handed, I should say. Okay. Hey yo. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing what crit on a twenty-four hits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. You you are you are doing noteworthy damage to this guy. Yes. Yeah, Sweet. these crits. Well, that is uh, that's all for my turn right now. Right. Victor, how you doing there in the back, buddy? <laughs> Victor, he, he's like got his hands on his hips, kind of like panting, and looks, and he, he kind of blinks and sees that Marcus is on the ground. He's like, oh no. Okay, right. We can do this, can't we, Rogue Dragon? Yeah, 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 we'll do this. And he, he moves 30 feet up. And then he's going to do his Channel Divinity Bomb piece. Um, and then he's going to move the other 30 feet to get between Otis and Marcus. And since they are within range, they get healed. Oh. Um, 2, e 6, plus 3. So each of you get 11 points of HP healing. And that was how far? 20 feet to get there, and he's going to take the rest exactly of his... exactly what I needed to get back up to max. And he's going to take his other 10 feet to get on the other side of Otis. <laughs> Alright. So, Marcus, that's... you're now up to 11. And that's the end of All his right. turn. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Well, you up from me. Oh. Oh, Blair says you're prone. Okay. Uh. Marcus has pulled himself back to his feet. He's gonna thank Herwina and spot where the enemy guy is, but I don't believe it's my turn yet. So. Okay, you can get a point of turn instead of the lair. What have we not yet today? Well, let's. Yeah, let's do it. What was the thing? Damn. Here's my 20 foot sphere. Think I'm ready to see. Vidi's probably muttering this whole time. You can't beat me. I'll always be here. Oh. Yeah. Is this the uh, the one that takes away your bonus action? Yeah. Quit making it bigger. Well, I guess it's, it's everybody. Uh oh. The lair wouldn't. Uh. This one is. I am like the class. My asthma gas is a cloud. The area is lightly obscured. Last until initiative 20. Each creature that starts his turn in the cloud must do a thir DC 13 or be. So that'll be on your, your turn. Sorry, could you say that again? Uh, yeah, I shared it. Um, uh, copied it from the PDF. What's the new line on it? Sorry. All right, so on your turn, you have to roll a Constitution saving throw. So since it's returned, okay. I just I'll release the All right. Ah. Uh. Oh no. Yeah, so poisoned. Um. Ah, ah, in the top ah. right of your um. 
character sheet on D and D Beyond, you can apply conditions. Look up the tree. In the meantime, you want to wait, wait, wait. That might put disadvantage on, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. no. Oh, it's incapacitated. No, you should just be poisoned. No, wait. While well, poison this. Okay. We really look at incapacitated. That's a deadly cloud. Sorry. You're right. Can't take actions or reactions. Sounds like you can still move. Maybe a bonus action. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could have backed out, or he could barrel forward. Well, it may not have been obvious before, I say sarcastically, but Otis is kind of ticked. Alright. Anyway, that's uh, my turn, so. Next. Alright. Marcus, you're up. It'll take half your movement to stand up. Alright. Do I still have enough to... Potentially attack. If it takes half my movement to stand up, do I still have enough where I could attack, or no? You you, you still have a full action and bonus okay. action. No, no, no. Okay, I just I please, just please wanted to a, check um, on that before well, I went do, and did something. You do need to do a, a Constitution saving throw. Okay, let me go ahead and do that saving throw then. Or you'll be incapacitated like Lucas. Oh. 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 Alright. Oh. So you can move, yeah. and I'm gonna guess you can probably also move your spiritual weapon. Okay. But you can't take an action or react. Actually, moving your spiritual weapon would be the bonus action. Oh. I, I. So you can use bonus action? Should we like us do a bonus action? Sorry. Also, can you use a bonus action? Question, does spiritual weapon have to be concentration based? Oh, that is a good question. Because if so, uh, going unconscious would probably... Oh, it's not? Okay. Yeah, no. Spiritual weapon's a little overpowered like that. <laughs> That's why I mean, it's I'm awesome not you take it. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> Alright. So, Marcus, you can still move, and you could um, uh, also do, a, um, a, if you have any bonus actions, you can do those. You can't do a full action. Um, okay. As a bonus action, I think you take a look at your spiritual weapon options, if you want. Oh, looks like um, spiritual weapon is in my bonus actions. That is awesome. Just give my computer a second to actually send my roll to you guys. And my cat just scared me because she suddenly jumped up because she's chasing a fly around the room. Okay, did you, so did you move your your weapon up by your baby? Yes, yes. I went ahead and I attacked him. Um, my roll is now in the chat. Where would you... Okay, you, you moved that to the weapon. You, you'd, you'd move it to... Okay. Hmm. My virtual weapon has... A thirty foot, um, sixty foot range actually. All right. So, well, I, don't, I mean, I don't have to move closer to him to hit him. He's only twenty feet away from me. All, all said and done, how would you like to do this? How would you like to take him out? Yeah. All right. Marcus, after being passed out on the ground, stumbles to his feet. He looks a little dazed. His eyes go to the cackling enemy above him and he outreaches his hand and his spiritual weapon moves of its own accord striking him right in the chest there's a bit of a cracking sound as it renders his sternum into pieces nice no no all right as he dissolves, 
Um, the forest chicks, but not too much. Not so much as if it's trying to destroy you, but almost as if it's trying to shed something. The bram, the thorns curl back. The normal looks to the trees pull out, and the cage around Jenna dissolves. And getting her bearing, Jenna looks around, seeing Kaviti's gone, takes a deep breath, and with that, she disappears. Not a giving up disappear, but kind of just going back to where she belongs with the rest of the psyche, and you all get the benefit of a short rest. Sweet. Short rest. Uh, and then, if you need to, don't don't be afraid to use a um, hit die or two to get you, get yourself some more health. All right. All right. You can see light through the trees now, and the path back to the main garden, which had been completely obscured in fog, now clears, and you can easily see a path back. With this, you have saved one of one aspect of Jenna's psyche. Permission to let her re-roll the one DM. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Uh, I am just insisting. <laughs> would you like me to re-roll? Yeah, Jenna wants you to feel better. You did you did a lot for you guys did a lot for her. She doesn't wanna okay. leave you hanging. Uh, I guess when I was creating this map, I was thinking about would I make completely clean up all these feathers? Would I leave them? And I'm thinking, you no know, fear is a normal part of who you are. I mean, it's a defense mechanism. It's when fear gets exaggerated and completely out of control that it becomes self-destructive. That this is not medical insight. This is just my personal thoughts. Hey, Marcus. Good job. How are you doing there? He would kind of, you can tell he's a little ruffled. He's probably going to roll his shoulder around, maybe kind of pick at a few loose feathers and be like, I'm okay. I'm all right. How is everyone? Does anyone need any healing? I uh, feel just dandy. I'm also oh, uh, just fine. Is, is that sarcasm? Well, Otis is uh, kind of playing with his rapier off to the side a little bit. All right. Well, I if I, I could, I'm good. Um, I'm good too. Great spell casting there, Ruina. Oh, thank you. I've been practicing. It's up to you guys what you want to do next. Thank you for not burning down Jenna's brain. Is, uh, so, does that mean Jenna's uh, back in her uh, physical state now? Or, um, uh, the. Do we need to go somewhere else? Or, or can we get out of her brain? Because I'm starting to feel a little bit more uncomfortable the longer we're here being inside of her mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there more off down the other path? Yeah, I think there was. It looked like there was some sort of black goo, if I remember. Something like tar. It smelled terrible. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. 
Well, I'm, only I'm way to find to that. It. True. Utility. Okay, well. Oh, yeah. Just... Well, that. Meow. <laughs> she just <laughs> takes off. Their winner is just like, kind of like, I just. I'm. I just kind of want to go home now. It's a. Uh, this has been a little bit uh, different to my usual. Uh, we not track. Wait up! <laughs> no! <laughs> if any of you stop and notice, her, the fog is a little thinner, the greens, the plants look a little greener. So, you you did some good. Good. Nice. Yeah, things are looking a little better here. Hopefully whatever is ahead of us, we can solve. Ah. <sighs> Oh no. Alright, following the trail of smelly tarry goo leads. I guess I should move you over to that tab. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. The darkness. Mm. Uchi. All oh, hearts so are born in darkness. What? <clears throat> Sorry. Oh my. <laughs> Random Kingdom Hearts reference. Oh, oh my. my. Goodness, Jenna, what's going on in your mind? Targu leads oh. to a cozy grotto lit by fireflies and gently growing crystals. Wow. This looks um. Cozy? Uh, uh. Ah. Oh. oh, now I can see it all. I was like, I didn't yeah. look, it doesn't look like it's lit by fireflies. Wow. Oh! Nice. There's. I see you, Jenna! It's pretty magical here. Jenna! Irina's just like running straight over to her. Wait, Jenna? Wait, Jenna's over here too. Wait. Oh. Question. Oh. Uh, this central part, uh, is this like just a lake or is that an obstruction from the other side here? Or to the other side? That that would explain it. Thank you. I was muted about something that's not all. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. This is the Dolfo Grotto. At the center of the grotto, grotto is a pool of water which absorbs all light that shines upon it. Fluffy lounge chairs and comfy looking beds are sloppily arranged all around the pool, four of which are occupied by hazy grayish humanoid figures. At first, the grotto is quiet, peaceful, and languorous. The air grows he heavy and oppressive. You find yourself, um, you find yourself having difficulty accomplishing even the simplest task. It dra drains the spark of all positive emotion from you. And if you get too close to the pool, uh, and hedonic aura, the pool at the center of the grotto emits an aura throughout the entire. Uh, uh, I'm wondering. Mm. This isn't something you'd be able to see. I don't know. If you guys move around in it enough, I might reveal where that, how far that aura stretches out. But Erwina and Ash are definitely inside this aura. So I need you to oh. make a DC wisdom or constitution saving throw. Your choice. Uh, wisdom or con. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, we're going to go con. Yeah. <laughs> right, so. 
Irina. Uh, creatures who fail their saving throw are overcome by a wave of apathy and cannot take an action that turn. Additionally, they have disadvantage on saving throws, attack rolls, and ability checks on their turn. Uh, and characters who are effective, affected this way lose their normal coloration. Their skin, hair, and any gear on them turns ash and gray. So. Well. Well. Um, I think the entire time you're in it, you can re-roll at the beginning of your turn to see if you can check that off. Okay. Because we're not in initiative, when can we re-roll that? Oh, uh, you're right. Um, I'll give you a chance every little while. Okay. So do we, like, feel, like, lethargic, kind of? Yes. 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 Like, this whole place seems uh. peaceful, sweet, uh. but heavy, and, and it's like, it makes you want to not curl up for a nice warm mat nap, but just kind of flop down and kind of give up. I think I might just take a seat over here. I might just have a little bit of a nap. You might as well. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. No, I'm just... No, I'm not feeling very good right now. I think I might just um, close my eyes for a minute. I think that that... that that might make me feel a little bit better. We've just... We've been through quite an ordeal. <laughs> and Irwina's just gonna kind of close her eyes. Asha, did you want to talk to the Jenna you just approached? Yeah, I... Yeah, I just... Say, Jenna, are you okay? What's What's going on? Nothing... Nothing's going on. Nothing's ever... Nothing. Now, Sorry, pause. I need to pull... You're good. Pull, I need to pull up the right file. I'm curious, though. Is this Jenna grayed out, too? Yeah. Mm. They are They are grayed out as well. Ah. <sighs> Everything is meaningless. She just starts telling you. It'll never amount to anything. Like this like this void she gestures at the pool. It's like a gaping maw in my heart. I mean it might be it's just easier if I just just went ahead and slipped myself into that pool and just Go away. And can Irwina hear? Like, can I hear all the way over the other side? Or am I just completely oblivious to kind of everything happening around me? I say despite the trickling water, the acoustics are amazing. No. Okay, so I, ca so I can hear? Yeah. Yeah. And Irwina wanna... is just gonna, like, kind of respond to what... Uh, Jenna has just, obviously she's not talking to her, but just like, yeah, that kind of sounds nice. It would be a nice release. Are you encouraged? <laughs> I'm like, is this a persuasion roll? No, it's not persuade Jenna to go into the pool. Um, oh man. No, it's convincing. It's convincing me to go to the pool. <laughs> Can you can you re-roll now? Uh me? Okay. <laughs> uh it was wisdom save, yeah. Wisdom or a constitution, or... whichever you wanted. Yeah, yeah, I'll do wisdom. I imagine with the constitution save, Asha just like oh choke it off. Okay. Yeah. So, dude. That's just Still like am. so much worse. That's a five. That's <laughs> Yeah, this water looks real nice. <laughs> It's like bubbling and doing some oozing, and it's saying weird things. Irwina? Otis, Marcus, like... Vic Victor, what you guys doing? Uh, Victor? Um, 
whenever we get back around to it, I do have a reaction for the Jenna next to me, but okay. I can wait. Well, just real quick, um, Victor, how long have you been living in the town? Um, about a year or so. A year, okay. If there's any portraits of Jenna's father, you might recognize this this little statue here. here. There's a little alcove. The statue above me? The one in this alcove that you were checking out earlier. Oh, okay. It's, it's just her father. It looks like just a little memorial. Okay. Uh, right. Hold on a second. Oh, whoops. Uh, sorry about that. How do I erase that? Mm -hmm. If you do the select button, you can click on it. Eh. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, ah, there we go. Snap. Uh, you need to be closer. Right. Um. Uh, hey, Irwina. Uh, you're okay. Everything's okay. And, uh, Otis will kind of, um, he's a little weirded out by this situation. But he doesn't want Erwina to go into the pool. And I give her a thing of bardic inspiration. So she can roll a uh, 1d6 on any, basically, roll within the next 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Actually, and, and maybe I, I... Should that also be a persuasion check to try to get her out? Or would that yeah. be too much? Um, All right. Let me try. Yeah. Maybe maybe on a success she can reroll. Wait for it. Feels so nice. welcoming. Nice. <laughs> he is just as weirded out, so that is affecting his sweet talking. So, uh, yeah. sorry, Rowena. <laughs> sweet talk is just. Oh. Hmm. She's Irwina's just gonna like really slowly keep like it's not like a rush to get to the pool, but it's just like a very slow, very lazy like stroll. Oh, by the way, if memory serves, this particular Jenna is crying. Oh, don't cry. But Everything. Gonna be fine. Uh, Asha, you, did you wanna? What were you gonna say? <laughs> so I, I was going to just wrap her in my big furry Leonin arms and get in a big hug. Say, oh, Jenna. No one would be able to feel the warmth of your heart if you slipped into the void. Don't go. And I'm just gonna hug her. Um, Marcus, what are you doing, buddy? Alright, so Marcus is actually going to fly. Um, I have a 50 foot range, so he's going to fly right in front of Erwina and pretty much just ask her, Hey, how you doing? Where where are you on your way to? You doing okay? I'm, um, uh, how, how far up are you? I, I'm right in front of Erwina now. Okay, so can, I, can you roll a um, wisdom or constitution save? Yes. Right, you are good. And so continuing on, it's going to be like, Arena, hey, hey, you doing okay? Ah, <sighs> it just all feels a little hard Thanks for I'm I miss my parents I failed my father my parents I'm sorry that's Jenna right next to you <laughs> starts talking. 
I didn't. Uh, I didn't tell them I loved them before they left, and it's been so long. I don't even know if they're alive, and I can't seem to find them. I failed my parents too. Gotten about you. Oh. Oh well. Why don't um. Why don't you sit right here next to Jenna, and we can just keep talking about this. It's good to talk about these sort of things. Can I give you a hug? If you must. I guess we kind of give her a little bit of a hug and kind of usher her gently away from the edge of the water. <laughs> Erwina, you want to re-roll? Re-roll. <laughs> Victor, can you roll? Am I forget, able? You am I able to add that day six? Yeah. You yeah, can. You um, I'd probably save it for after the roll, uh, because you can do that. Victor's fine. Let's find out. Oh, nice. Okay. So Is that enough? Right? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You shake oh. off. Oh, oh, I don't like, I'm, I don't like this pool. I'm just going to go over here. That was not nice. I did not enjoy that. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, Marcus is just going to let her go and then try and talk to the Jenna here. Hi, Jenna. How are you? What's on your mind? Um, oh, I think that's yeah. Well, you're trying to keep me on top. I'm just. Um, she. Jenna looks up at Marcus and says, "I wasn't good enough. Wasn't smart enough. I should. I should have done more. I should have been more responsible." Hey, hey! You're one of the most responsible people I know. I know that whatever you're talking about, you put in. The absolute most effort you could possibly put in. And I know it's terrible, but sometimes even when we put everything we have into something, it still doesn't turn out right. But that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with us. We put in our best effort, and that's, that's enough. Your being You're here enough. kind of implies there's something wrong with me. No, oh, no, there's nothing wrong with you at all. I should be stronger. I should. I should be able to do all this, and I can hold my head high. And I should be able to do. I should. I mean. Uh, I mean, all of you. You're in danger because of me. I mean, look hey, at hey. you. You look hurt. Oh no no I am I'm I'm fine but how many times have you given me a room to rest in on my travels I spend all this time trying to heal other people of diseases and I you gave me place to stay and to sleep and you never tried to make me feel guilty or tell me I needed to be stronger because I needed a rest why would you treat yourself this way Because I deserve it. You don't. You don't. You you don't know. I have trouble saying that on her behalf because that feels rude of her. But that's sorry. that's okay. It's okay. That's Go for it. Possibly interesting. Commit that's to the bit. Um, Victor. Yes. You 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 approached a Jenna. Yeah, I um sat on the edge of the bed here next to Jenna. I felt everyone. Why do you say that? Everything's falling apart. 
I can't keep up. You know how much debt we're in. All the people passing through, they're not going to be able to... If anybody needs us... I mean, there's so many people... Uh, Dixon's a good guy, but the only other inn in town is so much more expensive. But we can't... We're barely staying at the fl float. Go. Just... I know that things are very difficult, but... Are you doing the best that you can do? Yes. Well, then I don't know what else you can expect from yourself. I think you're doing a fantastic job. I came to this town and I could have got a job anywhere, but I come, wanted to come work for you because it's very very good to see what you do for people it uh, definitely made my heart larger than it was and I know you try very very hard what good's and that gonna do if we lose everything well you've been fighting for how long since, since before father died Right, and it's still going. the The tavern's still open. the The inn is still open. You've got people who want to work for you, want to make this place go. I'll just end up letting all of them down. I don't think so. If it's if it's tougher than what you feel you can do, you can ask for help. You know, we can help you. We we love you and we respect you and we'll we'll do whatever we can to help you. Okay. Um does someone want does someone want to go next? Uh query. Has Otis... Uh, you skirted he... along. Okay, so he's not affected yet? Not yet. No, you've, you've managed to skirt along pretty well. Okay. Victor's been is... good right until the end. <laughs> that is what I'm intending. He's just like... Whoop, 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 all <laughs> along the edge here. Where, where um, are we going to go? Oh, she's up this thing. Yeah. I'm just like... I. I did not vibe with that pool, so I'm just like, keep me as far away as possible. And also, these shiny things look cool. They're, they're, they're candles. It looks like a little vigil. Uh, so we're dead. Ooh, actually. It's probably peaceful compared to that, that aura. Yeah. So she's just like, I'll just, I'll just be up here if anyone needs me. Um, I hope you feel better, Jenna. Then Loving you from afar. Boundaries are important. Got a really yeah. weird vibe from that that pool thing, so I'm just I'm just gonna stay up here. But I love you. I don't know. So, uh, one more thing, real quick, from Otis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, down on the bridge here, where he currently is. Uh, he is going to... What has he got, even? Uh... Hmm. I guess he can take, like, a... I don't know, a stick or a rock or something. Maybe even a pen. And just kind of kneel down and poke it into the water. And see if anything happens. It seems the to get back. <laughs> it's the water, even though it looks like it's gently flowing, it seems to push along down toward the the rock seems to tumble down towards the main pool faster than it should in that current. As if despite the flow of the water, the pit is actively sucking things towards it. Yay. I feel so much better about this. Okay. 
Hey, Asha, what you up to? I guess, I guess, um, to Asha, um, that Jenna's probably going to tell you, uh, I don't have the energy to care anymore. Nothing that matters. No, why bother existing? I don't care enough to care. We don't care. Asha, are you there? Yeah, sorry, I muted, okay. I had muted myself, my bad. Okay, all right. But Asha, Asha would say, he would, he would let her go and sit down next to her, uh, next to the chair, just on the ground, and look at her and just say, Jenna, I know it's tough not having, not having the energy to care. But all you can do, all you can do is all you can do. And if you need to rest and recover until you get your energy back, you can do that. And you have people here who can help you take care of the day-to-day -day nitty gritty. So then you don't have to worry about it. I'm here for you. I think all of, all of us are here for you. And I gesture to everybody else that's around. What do you what do you do to keep going when you feel like there's nothing? <laughs> well, honestly, I guess I I keep going and I I don't know as I'm not proud to admit it, but I run. I'm not saying you should do that because I don't think that's the best way to face life's problems. But yeah, I, I wish I would have turned to other people for help. That's what, that's what I would do. She's going to, She's going to reach out her tiny little hands for your paws. She's going to hold them and say, You're not alone. I guess we all, we all have people. We, I'm here for you. You're here for me. I guess it's not so empty. Yeah. And even if you can't, care right now we can care for you all right so that jenna um her the, the gray starts to that that you see the gray drain from that jenna and 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 now she, she looks more ethereal, but she's got color again. And she just sits, she just sits back and just thinks. So she looks better now. Awesome. Good. Well, Jenna, do you want me to sit with you here a little longer or? I have a feeling I might be needed around the room a little more. I'm okay here. Okay. Thank you. Just taller. Irwina has come back over to this Jenna here. Do you want to... Uh, I, should, I should probably I have, have everybody... Roll. I should have everybody roll except for... No, Otis is skirting and... Everybody else has succeeded against points, haven't they? So, am I rolling? You you re-entered the area, and I'm thinking about just having everybody just re-roll. See how you're handling the, uh... Alright. 
All right. Yeah. Oh, mother. Ooh. Ooh. Big oof. <laughs> Big oof. All round. Six, six, seven. Yikes. Yeah, oh, this Otis. is why Otis is skirting. <laughs> you're just barely inside of it. How about you do it with uh, advantage since you're Oh, the, your square is only partially. <laughs> uh, did, are we not oh, wait, do crap. Did I do dex? Oops, sorry. Let me redo that again. I meant pawn. I clicked the wrong thing. Oh. Okay, you got that 20. Is it a con or a wisdom? Um, choice. Either. Oh. Do you want to, to re-roll yours? No, no, I'm good. Okay, with one. Okay. So, much like Otis, he uh, <clears throat> himself on the chest kind of keep keeps going by uh, physical means, not so much willpower, I guess. Shakes up. All right. So, most of you are feeling feeling the lethargy kick in. You're not really able to do much move far, but you are still able to all talk. I don't know if this will do anything, but I want to try and cast <laughs> Cure Wounds on this Jenner in front of me. Oh, no, 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 yeah. don't, don't, don't waste yourself on me. I'm not worth it. Well, bad. I'm going to try. And if it works, fabulous. If it doesn't, well, I'm just a failure. <laughs> Does it do anything? <laughs> I won't be surprised if it doesn't do anything. It, it doesn't. <laughs> well, I tried. I'm sorry, Jenna. I'm not much help. I'm not much help either. I'm a fraud. All the everything I do, I'm just faking it. I'm just faking it through life. I can never be what people want me to be. I'll never be good enough. Should be stronger. Are we ever really good enough for our own expectations? I don't know. I have pretty high expectations of myself and it makes them very hard to keep up with. And I think you're doing pretty good, in my opinion. You help a lot of people every day. Um, just a second. I'm checks off another thing I'm looking for for that one. <laughs> so just one more thing that Jenna needs. Um, where is Marcus? Oh, there you are. You're still there. Marcus, did you want to add anything to this? Do you define? Really, there's nothing really new I can add for this Jenna. She's just going to repeat a lot of the same things. I'm not strong enough. Uh, well, I disagree. Because you may not think that you're strong, but you've always been strong for other people when they need it most. When, when I came to you right after my parents disappeared... You helped me through a lot of very hard times trying to trying to figure out where to start um in into finding them and I I was very young and I didn't quite understand at the time but you helped me through a lot of my issues and you really tried to help me find my parents so you are very good at being strong for other people 
So I, I think you are a lot stronger than you think. I'm a fraud. I disagree entirely. Because a fraud is someone who lies. And in my experience, you have not told me a lie. And I'm, I'm like a little lie detector. I'm very good at knowing when someone lies to me. She's gonna break down crying at that. <laughs> oh, don't cry. I, it's going to be fine. We are in this together. And I, I mean, how about when we get out of your goopy brain, uh, we can sit down and have a nice cup of meat and and we can figure out a game plan to to help your business and to figure out what we can do to make you feel happier. I'm sure there's other people that you can talk to that can help you feel happier and more accomplished. And, and I, I'm, I'm happy to stay in town for a while if you need. And and I can help. I can I can help out in the kitchen. I'm not a very good cook, but I uh, I think I'm pretty friendly. I, I mean I can get cranky quite easily, but I still think I'm pretty friendly. So if you want, I can stick around for a while, and and we can get through this together. Toot toot. Um. Oh. Uh, Marcus, is there anything you wanted to add? Uh, Marcus would agree. He'd be like, yes, I can stick around too. I mean, I'm not sure if you need a healer, but you know, I know how to cook. I you know, like, I can sweep the floor if you need a little help. That's I okay. I want to be a burden. I don't want to be a burden. No, no, you're not a burden. Can I, could I sit down next to you? Okay, she's tiny enough. And he's gonna like slide in the seat next to me, like, okay, so here I am. I am Marcus, and I am sitting down because I am tired and I want to rest. Am I weak in any way for wanting to sit down for a moment? No. No, no. See, so if I'm not weak in any way because I need to sit down for a moment, then you can't hold yourself to a standard above that because it's normal to need to rest. And if you need to sit down for a moment and let your friends help you with some things, that's okay. We're here for you. You're not a burden. We don't mind helping you out. We love you. And if we love you, that means we're okay helping you. But I, sh I should overcome these feelings. I should be stronger than this. Sitting being tired is one thing, but I should be strong enough to just... Do you think I'm uh, I'm not strong even though I retreat into the mountains for months on end no. after I've been traveling around? No. Well, then that's the same thing. Apply that to you as well. You're so, not weak because you need help. You don't need to be strong or anything. Both of us just need time. So... It's normal it's to okay. be tired. It's okay. It's okay to screw up. It's okay to ruin other people's lives. Hey, hey. You're not ruining anyone's life. I... Alright. With that, I think that's all that Jetta needs. And so I think that Jenna will um will bleed off the gray and be able to um you know at least start a path where she can start to forgive herself and with that uh we're gonna go ahead and take a break 10 minutes um and then hopefully we can help these other two jennas and move along i think we're doing doing pretty well though Thank you for your time and welcome back to um, Gardens of Fog, a mental health awareness module.
Um, we did some talking and apparently um, everybody has saved against this aura of lethargy at least once and so apparently everybody's probably good for now and I could just delete it and not worry about that and everybody can be at full speed. Um, let's see. Where do we leave off? Two of our Jennas, the Jenna of guilt and the one of emptiness, um, were able to talk out their feelings. There's two more Jennas that need some healing. And um, Victor, do you want to go ahead and start? Um, you were, you, she was really um, responding well to your open-ended questions. Well, with that last wave of the being in the thing, he kind of felt uh, that he needed to lay down at the bed, the end of the bed, and he's just kind of laying there going, this is actually a very comfortable bed. Don't really want to move. That's okay. You don't have to move. Ever again. <laughs> You know you're you're actually really good to to work for. Even though things are slowly going down the drain. I think just that's just the way of the business. Sometimes seasons are busy, some seasons are slow. I I think if you look at it from a bigger picture, it's it's not as bad as you think. And it it's it's okay if it is. I mean, it's okay to feel these this way. But I think that it's going to get better. Okay. You know, we're... We're about that time of year when a whole lot of people are going to be coming to try to go down the pass. And... And there's a lot of people that show up for that. And I know that not all of them can pay for your... Your, your room and board. But, you know, those that can, will. And that'll be enough to stay afloat? It always has been. You've done an amazing job running this place. And if you wasn't, if you weren't the amazing person that you are, I wouldn't be working for you. Heck, you wouldn't even have to pay me and I'd still work for you. You're a good guy to work with. <laughs> just, let me just cuddle up to you. And with uh, he that, goes, he huh? goes and kind of pat her on the shoulder. That. Oh, it's hopeless. Ooh, I have two gems. All right. So that Jenna regains her color and she's just says thank you. Otis, since you're finding you're getting used to the, the aura, you're able to push through it and move pretty freely. All right, cool. Uh, also, where did Victor end up? He kind of vanished. Oh, that's who I moved to the wrong lair. <laughs> he went to the ether. Do, 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 do. Jenna, your mind's really weird. <laughs> <sighs> Worthless, stupid, useless. Too stupid to fix anything, this Jenna down here is saying. Everybody else can figure things out. Everybody else can just brush it off and move on, but no. I'm the one that's stuck. Can't seem to get anything right. Just one little thing makes me a blubbering mess. And you have to summon all the gods just apparently just to keep me alive. So I just screw up. Such a problem. Hmm. Otis is a little bit lost. Like, uh, 
He's not quite sure what to say. But uh, he's looking and thinking. And then he uh, whips out his lyre and starts playing a catchy tune. A, a gentle but catchy tune. <clears throat> Does that get a reaction out of this, Jenna? I mean, honestly, when I'm angry, that would actually make me more upset. But maybe Jenna doesn't handle it that way. Okay. Jenna, Jenna, unless Otis, you, you have anything else you wanted to do? I don't want to cut it, cut in over you. Well, I wanted. All right, there's the roll. Yeah, she seems. To... It does calm her some. <laughs> Catchy. It's like sometimes, yeah, especially my my friend uh, Moonscar. She has some very angry music that she jives to sometimes and it helps her out so that's probably she might she might be vibing with it sorry what was Asha saying well um he was gonna go over and just kind of massage her shoulders and be like man Jenna it sounds like you have a lot of repressed feelings there and you know what helps me when I'm feeling mad I just, I like to roar. So why don't you just let it all out? You're stupid, Jenna. You make mistakes of everything. Scream it louder. You're deluded to ever think you can make anything of yourself. Motion would be appalled to see the person you were a date down inside. Okay. <clears throat> well. I don't think any of us are appalled at you. So if you're mad, it's okay to be mad. You know, I'm a constant screw-up, continually screwing up. Such a pushover, too. Otis will interject here as he ends uh, the song abruptly on a rather jarring chord. Do you know how many mistakes I made while playing that? A lot. That kind of happens. Like, he is obviously struggling to uh, make the metaphor because the sort of thing is not his strong suit. When you learn to play an instrument. It's hard and you make a lot of mistakes. And even when you're really good, you keep making mistakes. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't really matter if you do make mistakes, though. Because you figure out how to roll with it. And yeah... You know that you kind of messed up. Do other people know? Not unless you let them know. Or unless you accidentally uh, drive poor person to uh, gouge their ears out from how bad the cord was. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I, I let that get away from me. Um, point is... What was my point? He turns to Asha... What was my point? Help me here. Turns back to Jenna. The point is, you'll learn from it. Can't tell you how many weavings I've messed up, too. Sure, yes, that. That that sounds good. So whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger? You could say that. Sure. 
it also tells you not how to not do a thing. So then you don't have to repeat that ever again. <sighs> And sometimes you mess up so big that some people don't want to be in your life anymore. And that's their choice. But just because somebody didn't receive you when you're trying to do your best in your situation, that doesn't mean that you can't move on or can't forgive yourself. Otis is kind of standing very still and his expression is kind of hard to read. I mean, unless anyone wants to insight check, I guess, but Jenna's a little wrapped up in herself right now. Music is terrible. Wait, what did the void say? <laughs> the void said your music is terrible. Void's being a punk. Alright. Alright. Well, I'll, I'll inside check Otis. Unless we're moving on. I mean, you can just glance at him real quick and then move on. This Jenna's kind of like gotten up. She's like, okay, fine. Do this. It sucks, but mm. do it. Yeah. That's right, Jenna. Yeah, you can't read him at all. <laughs> Dang it. Sorry, mate. It's okay. Alright. Alright. Layer. Okay. okay. That Jenna. Oh, taking some deep breaths in and out, in and out, and she looks like she's calmed down, but with that, the water thrashes because if you've helped all the Jennas, then it's lost its power. No, no. All right. Okay. Where's my little narration? All right. With a, rum with a rumble, a form emerges from the black pit in the middle of the cave. A serpentine column of starry darkness. This is Alenda. It is a being composed of absence, an avatar of hunger never sated, where hope gutters in darkness. It is voracious, taking, but never giving back at all. All it wants is for the party to sit down and surrender their joy to the... To surrender their joy to it in a futile attempt to sate, it, sate its hunger. All right. It manifests itself in the form of a fanged serpent, the color of the clear night sky. Can everybody roll from initiative? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. Thank you for saving the Jennas. Mm, look what I rolled. <laughs> oh! Sorry, I can't actually select the number. Oh wait, 
Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think I put them on the map. Yeah, just. Okay. All right. Angry snake face. Victor, you're worthless. Nobody cares about you. Arena, your friends. Forgotten about you. Marcus, nobody misses you. When you leave. Otis, your music is terrible. And Asha, your hugs. Nobody wants you. His hugs are fluffy, and his performance was 18. Such a mean snake. Okay, sorry. Otis flips um, off the snake. Yeah, screw you too, buddy. <laughs> all right, Asha, you're first. Oh, sweet. We got all that right. I guess I, I'll i draw my crossbow and say, well, looks like I'm having... Nightmare Serpent Barbecue for dinner. <laughs> and <Really>? yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, gonna I'm here for it. Yeah. I'm gonna make a crossbow attack. And unfortunately I didn't get that loaded in. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. I probably should make an attack. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I this is I'm trying to figure out between beyond twenty and then Yeah. The app. So let's I'm trying. Trying to where where's the attack? Oh. There we go. There we go. Okay. Twenty one hits. So we're gonna go with that. Awesome. So yeah, fire crossbow bolt at it, and I'll move just to stand in front or stand next to Otis, and that'll be my turn. Right. Um, the turn order just deleted everything. Oh wow. Okay. You ain't getting all screwy. Quick, everybody, say what you're. Uh, 15. At a 15. Seven. I'm going to close that because I think that's what it was. Was it the encounter order? Mm hmm. Oh. What was that really mean? Oh, 16. Uh, okay. And. Wait. What was Otis's? Uh, his was 11. No, oh, it looks okay, like we... it's back. Okay, no, I should just point and bring the cross. Okay. So, Marcus? Uh, 15. Yeah, no, I, I think we're good at, for you to go, right? Yep, yeah, your turn. Alright. So, the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to cast... I'm going to touch Irina and cast Resistance on her. Mm. <sighs> Thank you. I'm not good. If you haven't used your Bardic Inspiration either, can you use both of those? <laughs> Out of D4 and a D6. I believe so. <laughs> no, please. So, yeah. if you really want to hit or deal damage, or okay, so saving throw, I guess. Alright, so let's, do you want to do you have anything else you're going to do for your turn? No, nope, that was it. Okay. Um, I am going to cast from where I am, because I believe I can. Yes, I totally can. I'm going to cast Scorching Ray, all three of which will be hitting Snakey Boy. Um, so, 
da da Let you see it. And then... Ba ba ba. And then I can add a, a d4 or a d6 or both to any of these rolls, is that correct? Well, resistance is for saves, but the... Mm, but the inspiration. Okay. So that was... No, oh, all of them were terrible! That's lovely! Actually, the... The, the middle one hits. Ooh, add the bardic inspiration to the damage, then. Okay, uh, so 1d6. Momentarily. Another three. Uh, so six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage. And that is all I can do for right now. So imagine my the fire rippling across the, the glowing across the water. Yes, I want to burn the snaky boy. Nightmare snake barbecue, baby. Thank you, no, I, I just had the image of Asha sounding like a redneck. <laughs> then there's <laughs> gonna be a good barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. The redneck Otis's lion. <laughs> Otis's <laughs> turn. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I am going to have him cast Dissonant Whispers. So, uh, let me, uh, display so go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw for Elende ah he makes it well he will still take half the damage um so Otis will strike a chord and say, yeah, I bet you really don't like my music now, do you? Hmm. Well, it's a cat hiss, not a snake hiss. Um, if, sorry, voice actor, I am not. It's a nightmare snake. It can make whatever noise it wants. Anything else? Uh, I actually might move over here. So yeah, that'll be it for me. Carry on. Victor. Victor will use his move action to kind of like um, get Jenna off of him, and he's going to scoot to the edge of the bed and sit up, and he's going to look at this snake. And point at it, and he's casting Toll of the Dead. Is the target missing any of its hit points? Yes. Yes. 11 points of necrotic damage. And a <sighs> bell sound fills the air around. Can we through the cave? Mm -hmm. Oh, he saves. Does it take any damage if he saves? Um... Uh, no, he takes no damage if he saves. Anything else? No, that's it. Alright, this Jenna is going to cast Cure Wounds on Marcus. Oh. Alright. Well, you're only one. I, th I think only one of them's gonna go at a time. Okay. You guys are all failures. You should have just given up. <laughs> the 
this looks like a good shot. So, here. Oh, and they cast lightning bolt. Uh, Can you guys hear us? Yeah. Uh, no, it went quiet there for me for a sec, but I can hear you now. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, uh, we'll use my microphone for a little bit. Um, not sure what happened there. Oh, did your computer freeze? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you're froze. Okay, hey, so we're froze. Uh, so lightning bolt. Um, googling lightning bolt now. Um, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Display VTT, did that work? Okay, so that line. I think it's on her feet. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's gonna hit both your wiener. Forgiveness, Jenna. Can I hit her? Yeah. Nice. And Marcus. And uh, you need to do a deck save of. Let me look that up real quick. Twelve. I can add a d4 to this if I want, right? At some point, mm -hmm. if it's not good. Deck save. Yeah, you can use your, all right. uh, your resistance. Oh, yeah, alright. I'll do that then. No, I mean, it won't help. <laughs> yeah, you'll still That's fail. That's true. Never mind. This is sad. This is a big ouch. Oof. Big That's oof. Big oof. Did Marcus roll, uh, Dex? Uh, n uh, no. Sorry, I was... I'm trying to figure out the logistics for something I want to do. The board is not as burnt. I think... I think, um... Right, there's probably a brief attack out there. Anyway, so 21 damage to Erwina, and half of that's uh, 10 damage to Marcus. Did you say 21 damage to me? Yeah. Well, I'm down as down can humanly be. Yeesh. As naturally can be. I'm on that death saves. <laughs> nice. So, to that, Jenna. Are you well, dead or are you on death saves? Death saves. Did death saves. Okay, but you're not dead, dead. I'm not dead, dead, save? not just yet. Okay, alrighty. <laughs> not yet. She's trying to get the Jenna up. After my... Well, it wasn't a blue screen of death. At least that would have let me know what was going on. Well, we can figure out how to do it. Asha goes. Okay, her deck save is plus one. Plus 
So she failed? Yeah, she failed. So, 21. Alright. Does this mean she has no forgiveness this war? No, it just means that that avatar is just... Avatar's She's already gone. healed. That avatar's gone. Cool. M is it my go? Oh, you need to get OBS back up on the chest. That's right. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'll cool. put her up while she's getting reset. Awesome. All right. Uh, does the water look deep? It looks bottomless. Okay. Come on in. Water's full. Mm. Absolutely not. No thanks. And I'm gonna make another crossbow attack. What about it? Dope. Ooh. Very nice. Cool for nine damage. And that's pretty much my turn. Um. Marcus. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Erwina. Oh. And am I able to cast another spell? Uh, you can oh, do a, a cantrip that is a bonus action. I can do a what is a bonus action? Do you have any cantrips that are bonus actions? Uh, uh no. I don't. Alright, that was it for me then. Move along. <laughs> no, I mean, I think you can do... What's the rules on... Spiritual weapons. Does it take an action to summon it? It's a second level spell. Oh, okay. There, never mind. Yes, it is. Arena, you are prone. I would have eight hit points. So if I was, I was on minus nine, and she gave me eight, so I'm still minus one. Oh, um, and in 5e, it, uh, you, you get set to zero, and so she's healed you, so you get a flat eight. You just start okay. from zero. At least the okay. way I've always played it. Yeah. So, I don't need to do any death saves? Nope, no, you're, good you go. are conscious, but lying down. Okay, I just need to... As you had gotten whacked by a shocked death by a lightning bolt. I mean, if you really want to re-zero, you could just die and then go back to the checkpoint and try it again. That's true. So I'm prone, so... Half that's your that's movement that. to get up, but then you can... Yeah, well, I will use half of my movement to get up. And I will... I'm mad. So, I will once again... I can do something, yes. I can do uh, do an action. Yeah. You still yeah, have your okay. action, bonus action. You just only have half your move. Okay, cool. Uh, Scorching Ray again, because... She's getting angry. Ha ha! Oops. Yeah! Eight. Plus 11 plus 5 is 16. 16 fire damage. It's like sizzling the water around him. Danger Needle, burn. He's not happy. Oh, and that's, that's the end of my turn. Well, these. Still good. I think he's sizzling. Uh, 
Hey, you're ugly and you smell bad. Evidence does point to this. Oh! Nice. Nice. Three psychic damage. And he feels bad. That, that hurt him. In the soul. And your scales look tacky, too. Anything else? That's it for me. Move it along. Victor El Rodan. How is this creature looking? Uh, he is looking like this, like a burnt around the edges, and his heart has been hurt by a mean words. He's got quarter health. Okay. Um, Victor has been watching all this go down, and he's still, like, sitting on the edge of the bed, and he kind of, like, looks up, and he's just like, Rogue Dragon, let's hurt him. I know that you want love and compassion. This, this creature needs hurt. And he casts Guiding Bolt um, at first level. A nine to hit. <laughs> a nine does not hit. I don't know. I want to give an advantage because I'm his deity. <laughs> that is your call. This is what happened when you decide to make the DM your god, right? You gotta get something out of it. Roll again. He's not moving. Uh, you can move on. <laughs> You're alright. Oh, you don't. You don't want to roll with advantage. No, it's okay. You can move oh. on. All right, this Jenna is going to cast Beacon of Hope. Um, got a range of thirty. So everybody in there has advantage on Wisdom saving throws, Death saving throws, and any healing you get is goes to max. Okay, is that it? Yeah, I guess that's it. And because nobody's moved at all, and I'm going to split up their movement, I'm going to have this Jenna. This other one. With her little halfling feet. Alright, um... Him most. Oh, Irina. Oh, not Irina. He's going to hiss at her and cast Charm Person. Me? Oh, no. Me. Oh. Her. Okay, you have to move a little closer to you to get there. <laughs> Bird. Um, okay, so that's a wisdom save? No, 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 no. Oh, and I think you get an advantage because he's, you're fight, um, he's fighting you. Okay, I get, yeah, I get I, advantage? Yeah, you have an advantage. Okay, on a wisdom save. Nice. Oh! Yeah. It's hard <laughs> to be turned by something actively attacking. You have just joined me in D. Well, I don't like you, Mr. Danger Noodle! So you can go back to where you came from. And I'm the only one charming to girls around here. You think so? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Let's face it, ladies. We want to date the giant kitty. You may not like it, but this is peak performance. <laughs> okay. uh, Concerning. Yep. Alright, Asher, you're up. Okay. He's not looking well. Good. Good. Alright, well, if it's still kind of off, 
in the shoreline or er, in the middle of the water, I'm gonna find another crossbow. Crossbow bolt. Sixteen. Sixteen hits. Yes. Four. <sighs> and your breath smells rank too. That's it. Just throw a little insult. Marcus? Alright. I'm also going to take a shot with my crossbow. Oof. Miss. Yeah. <laughs> Don't see her noodle. Anything else? Unless I can shoot again, no, it's- Marcus just gonna be like, Oh, no, it's been a while. He hasn't really shot in a long time. <laughs> no. Sorry. Are we not? Turn already? God, that went fast. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's nice to ditch the layer actions. <laughs> we ditched layer actions for speed, so. They're so complicated. Uh, that should be fine. Yeah. I'm gonna cast. Ice knife! Not with advantage, just normal, please. Thanks. Um. Ranged attack? Yeah, no, ranged attack spell. Yeah. Here we go. Oh! Well, that sucks. It hits the water and freezes some water. <laughs> As you throw out your fingers. <laughs> Oof, DC 9. This is my plan all along. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> it still has oh, to roll a save? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. I shall do that. Uh, quick, somebody tell me what the kind of save it is. Dex. It hit the it hit the ground it hit the ice and froze it, but it still splashed. Ice splash. I think I saved. Yeah. Really saved. Well, I tried. That I meant to freeze the water. <laughs> yeah. That's what I meant to do, Danger Noodle. Watch Ooh. out for next time though. Uh Get up again. Let me see. You should be fine. Um. Yeah. Let's do. Uh. Um. Mm, I'll go for it with uh. Dissonant whispers. Really? Only six? I mean... Y'all suck. It's like the second... Failed. It's like the second six I've gotten with Dissonant Whispers. That is aggravating. Oh, you are so close. Anyway, I will, uh, however, add to that, um... Kind of as I cast. Also, you're fat, which is kind of ironic. Since your head's completely empty. Just saying. Head da -da 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 -da. empty. Only danger noodles. <laughs> Victor, I think you're up. Unless Otis has something else you want to do. Already, Victor's like, okay, Rogue Dragon, getting the feeling that I need to stand up, maybe? I don't know why you're not helping me, but okay, we can do this. We got this. 
We got this. And he does guiding bolt again. Nice. How do you want to do this? Um, exactly like I point. said. He, <laughs> of course. <laughs> exactly like I said. He he's just like a, like I, I guess I need to stand up. Uh, he's kind of like looking up to the heavens, and he stands up and he casts it, lets it go, and it it uh, impacts the uh, the enemy. He goes up and blowing us. Poof. Poof. This Jan is going to move up here. She's also going to cast Beacon of Hope. And eventually in another turn, a couple more turns, she's going to use her two spell slots to heal you both. Because speaking of hope, you max heal. <sighs> so within the next few seconds, this this Jenna will heal you two for your max. Does anybody else need healing? Who was being healed? Sorry, was I one of them? Irwina and Marcus, you're now full health. Thank you. Awesome. And this Jenna just. Happily nods and blinks out. Victor turns to the Jenna behind her and is like, Jenna, did you see that? The rogue dragon, she helped me. I knew she would. Do you need heals? Um, I wouldn't say no. Only if you're able to. Normally I'm the one healing you. <laughs> this Jenna comes up a little bit. So that when this Janna heals you, it's for Max. So, is that it? Did we kill all the bad guys? I mean, surely! Right? I mean, there shouldn't... I, I don't know. Yeah, how are Please. you feeling now, Jenna? We still... Feel trapped by something. I don't know what it is. Otis ruffles uh, this Jenna's hair. <laughs> Alright. Um. Victor, are you full health now? Close. Okay. Right, when when this Jenna heals you, when when you're in the the aura of this Jenna, you get max whatever healing she does is maxed. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, and I'm full now. I think that's... Also, is it, like, a bad thing that one of you guys got, like, incinerated by a lightning bolt? Otis asks of, uh, this Jenna. Oh no, I think I was good. All right. Uh, well, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm uh, pretty keen to get out of here. Do, do you think we can we can go home now? Probably not. That, that there was that like area that was being blocked off. Maybe we should, maybe we should go, uh, check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Uh, okay. Otis takes out start. his little, oh, sorry, you go. No, no, you go, you go. <laughs> Otis is going to take out his liar and just start drumming a, a kind of peppy tune, like, this is going to suck, but it'll be fine anyway. Before oh no! Walk the... <laughs> Before it's you walk away, looking. top ten best hun best hits of twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Before he walks away, Victor will hug this uh, this Jenna and say everything's going to be all right, and then all he's right. going to walk on, join the group. 
Every little thing is gonna be alright. Right. <laughs> oh wow, it's a little different in here now. Wow, it's looking so nice. Although there, there is this big bramble bush in the way. Do you think we got that mm -hmm. way, or or is there another way? To... Nope. I think we gotta go that way. This mm. don't feel right. Yeah, I think we might be in for a thorny situation here. Oh, not funny! I don't like thorns! Yeah, yeah me, well, me you're, al you're also not a very satirical person, Erwina. <laughs> you know what? Stop being a prick! <laughs> Well, why would I have to be a prick when there's already like a hundred right in front of us? This isn't fair just because I'm small it doesn't mean that you can be mean to me. Can can I go anywhere? Can she go forward or is there like is it still like is it like blocking our path? It's hold on, hold on. May, maybe we can um well, we don't want to set them on fire, no, but maybe we could pull them out of our way, or cut them down. It looks do pretty I? weak. The, the gate here and the thorns there do look pretty weak. It looks like you could probably hack them with a, some sharp implements. Erwina is mm. really mad. <laughs> she's, she's getting really grumpy. So, she, so she's going to try and ram them. Oh, no. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh! Was it an twenty? No. Oh, my word. The rogue dragon has looked, smiled upon. Oh, that 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 fence, the thorns, it all just crumbles. Now that's um, what I call thinking with your head. <laughs> I look at Marcus and <laughs> just like, uh, we better not mess with her anymore. Um, as like, no, <laughs> she'll turn her, um, I turn around to them as I've like gone through and just like, <clears throat> and just keep going. I like right. her even more now. Uh, uh yeah, uh, Arwena, do you have any thorns you need help pulling out? <laughs> I can deal with it myself. I am strong. Alright. Okay. Pass. Okay. He's gonna back up. Right. Pass that fence. And that that uh, the wall that attempted to be hidden by thorns. Now that those thorns have not been brushed away, you come through and it looks like the back of Jen is in. It looks like um uh, it looks like just the basement to her in. And that appears also to be the only way you can go. Oh, this is the basement of the inn. Uh, this is where we stockpile everything. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I, I remember. Are uh, mm. Very organized. Can I do a perception check? Sure. Perception. Everybody can do a perception and or investigation. Okay. I'll do an investigation then. Uh, I I think Otis might be uh, too busy. Like, wow! Uh -huh. Like, I I'm actually really into Erwina right now, or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because right she's now? Like, constantly what, giving you just... dagger eyes, just like. Fuck. What are you? <laughs> hey, hey! He, he likes a capable him... woman. <laughs> Backing away from Erwina. A woman I like capable a woman of who can headbutt walls. my butt. Wait. <laughs> just um, like I would have there. There's three down ones. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty <laughs> epic. All right. Um, wow. This basement looks I know pretty... what this place is supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah, it's not supposed to have weird holes in the back wall. If you move past the barrels. Uh, I can't see now. I yeah, clicked the wrong one. Okay, that's awkward. 
Oh my god, we're blind! Oh no, it's fine, never mind. <laughs> Open your eyes, see? <laughs> Open your eyes. Can There's you not hear? To be holes. Can you hear coming from the back room? You ruined. Everything you ruined. Ruined Wait. everything. This is not supposed to be here. Why are there holes in the back of the wall here? Uh. You want to see both of them? Yeah, just. Give me a sec. Leave. I can see them. I can see like two like pathways. Yeah. Yeah, I see two paths um, too. If it's okay, Victor your will point is them out. Okay. Both of the pathways to everybody, since he saw them. Erwina is like still like I'm still like riding that high from like bashing that wall down. Oh wait, never mind. Is there nothing? Can we just walk in? Move the barrels a bit. I just, mommy. Sorry, okay. <laughs> I was gonna ram them again, but if they're not there, then I won't. Well, I mean, Victor probably knows how how moving them around should be done. But you hit. Okay, okay so you, you take the barrel and you you put it up on the edge and you just kind of roll it. Watch, see, see how easy that is. And you set it back down. Oh, yes. It would have would have been more fun to like ram it and like make a mess. You really want to ram? Fun. This is Jenna's mind. Don't ram it in Jenna's mind. Well, I rammed the other wall and everything seems okay still. Yeah. Well. I... Fine, fine, fine. I won't ram it. I won't ram it. At the very least, you ram it and make a mess. I'm gonna have to clean it up if this happens like in real world too. I. Hey, yeah, okay, okay, okay. What's behind this wall? This isn't here, you know, normally. Well, I guess the only way to find out is to, you know, take a look. Say what's... Ooh! There's like some creepy green light! Oh, you've come so far! Oh, oh you've come creepy. so far for poor, poor Jenna! Please like, have her, she's mine! You bet she was me. ours first! Who's that? Excuse- oh no... Is it you, Joe? Oh, yeah. Oh, can, uh, we, can we get some initiative before we get too far? <laughs> yeah, let's not yeah. all move in when there's a monster right in there. <laughs> okay. Here we know the buff. It'll be really fun. <laughs> yeah, I'll start from there. Just watch her get the highest initiative and do that anyway. But if you click your character, it's not rolling. Give me a night hag stat block. Thank you. Right. Yikes. Did you roll her initiative? Oh, no, I didn't. Thank you. Busy fixing the initiative. Oh, she got a 21 on initiative. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's terrifying. That's no bueno. Um. Just sell us. All right. Um. Where are we at? Very angry hag. All right. Uh, Jenna can't escape. No matter what you do, I have her in my clutches, and there she will stay. Do you want to go ahead and uh, start with something? 
Yeah, I can stack them. Oh yeah, right. She's got the max health. Oh, let's see, let's see. Um, she Okay, uh, magic missile. Let me go Google that real quick. There's one missile. Not like the system. Um, you create three glowing darts, smash before us each dart. Dart hits a creature of your choice. Um, wait, ignore that. That was wrong. Oh, you know, just, yeah. It's a uh, plus one. It's always plus one. Anyway, so three darts. Oh, uh, who's she hitting with the three darts? I mean, Irina was the first to barge in. Okay. So that's um, 14. How many hit points does she have? Me. Is this me? Yes, Irina, you've been hit by magic missile. And for for fourteen, yes. <laughs> That's what I get for going in first. <laughs> You know what? She's gonna move. You wanna do a taunt? Uh. She wants me to take her away, you know? From the stress, the expectations. She knows she doesn't deserve to be happy. Yep. Alright, Marcus, you're up. You saw Drusilla out here being all creepy, but then you saw her move. Alright. Um, I am actually going to cast deafness and blindness and deafness on her. Do you need to be able to see her? I just need to be... Um, you might need to step up a couple. Yeah, just, just I'll shoot. Step Hold up on. in the room so you can see her, that's all. Okay. I just refreshed it. Moved. Sorry. My bad. Um, no, just yeah, instead of I'll just... maybe two squares. Uh, range is 30 feet, so, yep, oh, I'm good now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, you want to you roll it. No, no. The spell come through for you guys? Yeah. Is there anything if she does a save? If she makes a save? Um. Yeah. Oh, did she not do a spell save? Yeah. Yeah. No, the, constitution she saving throw. She... Okay. Um. Yep, she uh she passes it. Nothing happens. Okay. Geek dark. All right. Um. <clears throat> Victor is in the back um can he see her at all a bit yeah going from the corner of his square he can if he leans against you. the wall um okay 
And in that case, he's going to lean against the walls just like... Okay, Road Dragon, we did this last time. We can do it again. And he's going to cast Guiding Boat uh, at second level. Um, actually, that's... I need to do it at second level, sorry. There we go. Did, wow. Can I give him the, the roll from the first one? Um, why is there two? What's the I cast it at first level and uh, wrong first. I meant to do it at second level. That's such, um, yeah, if if the second one misses, um, I mean, if you want to take the the the, the, the roll for the first one, since that's what the roll first, I think you should, because that would hit. What do you think, Victor? It's your guys' call. I hit the wrong button first. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Did you... Thirteen damage! Sorry, the aphasia's kicking in now. We have our own set of mental disabilities over here. Oh, you're fine. And uh, that's all I'm going to do on my turn. All right. Asha. You can't have Jenna. She was ours before she was yours. <clears throat> and I'll attack her with my sword and... Yeah. Great. I'm just gonna laugh in his face. Oh, so wrong you are. I've always been. Alright, well, then I will roar in her face. That's good. And yeah, I need a DC 11 uh, wisdom save from her. Oh, she failed. What does that mean? Oh, that means she is frightened of me until the end of my next turn. And frightened is different from charmed, right? I believe so. Excellent. Friend is disadvantage on ability checks, attack rolls, while a source of fear is within sight. You cannot willingly move closer, but you know what? I might as well. I'm gonna action surge, and I'll roll for another attack. Okay. That's way better. Mm. Oh, and that's it for me. All right. Ervina. Okay. Right next to me, which was her uh, mistake. Ooh. Cause oh, I'm shoot. mad. Yeah. You're, you're up next yeah. to us. Two. I, I was just like, wait a second. I knew I was low, but not that low. <laughs> right. Never mind. It's not my turn. No, it no, is. No, it's your turn. It's your turn. Sorry. I'm after we thought, you. We thought okay. we misplaced uh, Otis. 
Okay. Um. Um. Let's not do that because I will most likely hurt myself. Uh... You know what? Stuff it. I'm no. Well. Do it. You won't. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> All right, I'm a I'm a rammer, and I'm a bove. Oh no! <laughs> oh, nice. Oh no! So, are we just gonna run straight into the wall? <laughs> Completely miss and run straight into the wall. Flunk. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you, you, you give Jenna back. She is a friend. You cannot have her. And that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Great, Otis. Great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And she has disadvantage on saving throws, uh, throws right now, correct? From... Is it from Asha or from everybody? Uh, let's see. I think While the it's... source of fear is in sight, so yes. Excellent. <clears throat> and uh, I believe I will cast Dissonant Whispers, which she will have a disadvantage on. Well, it says ability checks. Does that include saves? Yes. That's what an ability check is. Well, the Isn't it? squares. Alright. Um, Things are technically different. Uh, oh, well, yeah, okay. I'll just say. Um, it's done? Yes. Fail. That makes it easy. Yay! Okay, what happens? Uh, she takes nine points of psychic damage. Hm. You should just go home. You suck. Your hair looks terrible. Brum. And that is my turn. Oh, she should have ran away from Masha. Yeah, well, I was going to do that for her turn. Oh, okay. She didn't say anything about her. Oh, was she supposed to use her reaction to do that? All right. Well, that, that changes Arlena's move, so. It'd be well, a delayed reaction. Have... I'm going to have her move away now. Yeah, okay. There you go. Wait, do you want to taunt while she runs away? Well, I mean, would you get um, attack of opportunity. opportunity as she runs away? She is oh. terrified of that lion. Well, she doesn't really want to get closer to Otis because he's cutting into her. Here. Alright. Okay, that's good. Out of here. Yes, ma'am. She. Okay. Is she bamfing? No, she's running. She, she's yeah, physically you, running. Good. You guys can both get a Ooh. text of opportunity. Nice. So we got oh. one crit, at least. Uh. Mm. Okay, so we do that. And so then. We... My normal damage is a d8 plus two, so. That's so okay. So it'd be one d eight plus two normally, and then with the crit, um, so that would be another d eight. Well, so that's the d eight plus two on a roll. So we just add ten. Call it good. All right. So seventeen yeah. slashing. I think it's four times what I was going to 
that you have a resistance to those who work up and her bed. Excuse me. What? Gotcha. Or 15 with a max die. Sans modifier. Honestly, if she was a real hag, you would think she'd be a little tougher than she is. Interesting. Interesting. She's not doing some things you expect from hags, like jumping through, jump like a disappearing, reappearing. Does she want to taunt on her turn? Uh, are we gonna, did you want to do an attack of opportunity? Absolutely, I do. I'm a, I'm a cast. I can cast, right? Or does it have to be a physical attack? Does it have to be a like, melee attack for? Yeah, unless she has more caster. Yeah. Okay, then I will. <laughs> no, the yeah. can I ram her? I mean, she you're already off. like stuck in the. I'm a little worried about your head. <laughs> well, it's my only melee attack, so. There's also an arm strike. You could kick her. Yeah, I'd rather ram her. <laughs> <laughs> And what your way to victory? All right. So as she's running this way, you give her a good ram. Twenty hits. Five Alright, where are we at? Uh, that was her... I, I, that was her turn. Did she want to taunt on her turn? Well, she's like, I. without me, Jenna is nothing. You take me away, what could possibly be left of her? I've always been a problem for you fools. Marcus? Alright. So, Marcus is gonna fly. Actually, fly right at her. He's got his mace out, and he's basically, you may hear like an eagle screech as he dives down <laughs> to attack her. Um, all right. Anything else in your turn? Can I attack again? Only oh, if you have a bonus action. Yeah, you know, like if you have a second uh, weapon. I have my spiritual weapon as a bonus action. Yeah, you can cast uh, it. Have, have you cast it as an action? Yeah, I think you have to turn an action to cast it, but then you can use it your bonus actions. No! No, the uh, our shadow DM says it's a bonus action to cast. Wait, what? It's listed as bonus action here. Yeah. Oh, yep. wow. Yep. That's hacks. That's why it's dope. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Um, let's go find my sword again. Ah. Nerf. Nerf, please. Oh. Oof. <laughs> right. Uh, or, or just, okay. But you 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 won't be able to use it till your next turn. Mm-hmm. Victor. All right, Victor's oh. going to move up. Go ahead. Go for it. Go ahead. Victor's going to move up ten feet. 
spell that she ran over there, and he's going to use his face step to um, to magically teleport 30 feet to an unoccupied face that I see. I'm going to go right next to um, the spiritual weapon, um, and then with my Eladrin, I'm an autumn Eladrin, so whenever yeah. I land next to him, um, I'm going to choose him, or choose her, um, to see if I can charm her when I land. Um, I need her to make a, um, a wisdom saving throw, the DC's 13. I don't know. It's not resistance to charm. No, it says no. conditions immunity. Condition immunity is charm. She's, she's immune to being charmed. Okay. Sorry. And then I'm going to run another 20 feet the rest of my movement. Back. What? Provoke an op attack of opportunity? She already Maybe. took a reaction. She already took a reaction. Okay. Okay. No, it's been her turn since then. What was her reaction? Like she. You're right. Never mind. No? What's her reaction? No, I think you're right. Go ahead. Her reaction was to run away from me. But that was. But then she had her turn. Gotcha. Right, because you guys did it on her turn. That. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, we, we, Go ahead and do it. it. out of place. Alright. Got it. You got the attack? 13 to hit? Uh, does not hit. Right. Sweet. Alright. Um, oh, do I get a bonus action still? Yeah, if he's still Well, you know, spiritual weapon sounds fun, so I'm going to do that. Because that wasn't a spell I did. It is fun. No. Well, face step is a bonus oh, action. Your bonus oh, action. it is. I'm yeah. sorry. Never yeah. mind. All good. All right. I'm going to move. Let me just double check my... Yeah, we're good. I'm going to run up to her and attack. With my long sword. Yeah, that definitely won't hit. Yeah, it. Right. And that's it for me. Great. Right. Are we done? Why y'all have to be so close? All right. I am going to move a little to about here. Assuming I'm not going to be on fire if I stand there. Uh. Uh, I'm going to take that as a, <laughs> as a yes. Uh, so I would stand there. So that is fine. That's fine. Um, and I'm going to... Oh no. I'm so sorry, Asha and Marcus. Because this mm. will most likely hit you both. Eh, that's okay. I'll be fine. Hey, uh, what? does activating that... No, it costs an action. Never mind. Feel the psychomancy, but all oh, that's only listed saves. Never mind. Does need to do a deck save, but I don't think it's hit. Yeah, I don't. It's okay. Ten, the ten does not hit, and then Marcus and Ash will do deck saves. Yeah. Um, well, you still take half, so four. Marcus, can you give us a deck save? Yep. Oh, Irina, you might be close enough. Do a deck save. It's five. Is oh wait, no, you're not within. Five? You're not within the um, five feet. You're fine. Sorry. Yeah. Marcus is okay. So you get four damage. Still All right. Hey, it looks like the hag failed the deck save. Yeah. 
Right. You guys Sorry. are doing a pretty good job of whittling her down. She is going to take a while to whittle down. Do we want to just um, speed this up? Because she is oddly underpowered for a hag. So... Well, yeah. Um, but eventually you are going to wear her down to the point where she starts telling you well, I guess she never actually does straight out say it. But once you finally break her down far enough, when she dissolves... Well, she, she might still win. No. She's so afraid. It's just, because of time, I know you guys are going to get her. You're just going to, it's going to take a while. Yeah, we're, we're done. Sorry, guys. But... When, Dr when Drusilla melts away, left in her place standing is an ethereal Jenna, who is crying. But she says, oh my gosh, I think you did it. Or, my gods. She's gone. She's gone. She's finally gone. She's been there for so long. Oh, I don't know such a strange sensation. I mean, I always knew she was there deep down inside. Father always helped me through it. I mean, the thing about hags is apparently sometimes they can have, they can have children with no, are totally normal until they hit 13, but that's not puberty for halflings, so it never hit me. And I... Father, he would just hold me and he'd tell me I wasn't a monster and, well, I mean, I was the one to call myself a monster. But he always said I could be more and he, he said that I was good at reading people's emotions, like I could touch their minds, so he kind of made me believe I had conquered her, took her powers for myself, but... <sighs> never realized she was always still there, but she always will be. Can't fight the fact that she's my mother. I can't, I can't go back. I can't go back. Well, Jenna, I don't know. You are who you decide to be. How, how do how do I face Moshi? How do I tell them? Moshi loves you. Just tell him what it is. He'll understand. If he doesn't, then he's not the right one for you. Will you help well, me? I can tell that that boy loves you. Yeah, we'll be there for you. I can do this. Yes. Yes, you can. And Asha's going to take his paw and put it on her shoulder and say, Asha, or Jenna, no matter who your parents are, no matter what, what your heritage is, you get to decide who you are and what you do with the name that you have. It's your life. And from all the good that you've done, I know that you're you're not going to fall. You will be just fine. And with that, everything kind of dissolves. Light is pouring through uh, the doctor's windows. Um, Moshi has curled up on top of, uh, the pillow at the top of the bed. And he's fallen asleep, but he's, you see his hand is held out, holding onto hers. Um. Uh, as, as you start to, uh, Rurik looks like he's been 
Uh, he's, he's sweating. He's been trying to hold it together. But he looks very weary and very relieved to see you. Oh! Uh, um... We made it out. Uh, oh, Most Jenna. of Turtle's awake. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we helped her. And think... Jenna starts blinking and opening her eyes. Hey, how do you rotate your token? Oh, the, uh... It off? Hold off? Well, there's, there's a little doodad that sticks up. There's a little square that sticks out of the top of your head. But half the time it's covered uh, by a little thing. dot. It's hard to click. Yeah. Otis will kind of walk away a bit, get some distance. Then after a bit, he'll go like, Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> Guess. Uh, that's not... Uh, well, you're not wrong. Okay, Jenna wants to just crawl under the bed and hide and die. Thanks, Otis. <laughs> <laughs> No, what? Oh, uh, sorry, I did... I... He clearly was not thinking about how uh, he might have been referring to Jenna there. Oof. She's gonna look at Rurik and say... The fiend I was worried about died nearly... 37 years ago. She, she, she... The one I told you about, she was... She's just darted back and forth between Moshi and him, and she's like, I, I don't know how to say this. It's I... okay, my friend. It's okay. This is a step in, re in your way to recovery. The, the defeat of the fiend inside your head is not a guarantee that it will never come back. But with these friends here that you've assembled and brought and gathered around you and what they did inside helped. I will teach you more, Jenna. How to bolster yourself against these problems that you face. These, these things that they, they can seem so heavy at times. But when you have the right friends around you, when you have gathered those who love you to you, those who understand, those who are willing to sit by and just be your friend, just be there, hear the things that you have to tell them. You will get by. And Rurik will turn to everybody else. You all did a very good job in there. The struggle was very real, but you guys did a wonderful job. Moshi, I do want to marry you. But I'd be worried about having children because... My mother was a hag. Moshi's just sidelined by that. How do you feel about adoption, then? And she's like, she's like I think we could do that. He wraps his arms around her. And then she turns to each one of you and she's just like, Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Asha, I'm going to make you so many pies. Marcus, we're going to find so many peaches. And we know we're going to, we're going to do everything we can. We're going to, we're going to all go gather together. We're going to go on some expeditions and we're going to try and find, we're going to do so much. 
Thank you, everybody. I'm just okay. glad you're okay. Me too. Jenna, if you ever need anything, we're all here. I'm so scared you guys would hate me. I could never hate you. Right, with that... Uh... The... Also, Asha turns to him and just kind of like puts his paws on the their upper backs to be like, now kiss. Like, Jeanette is blushy, but Moshi's like, yeah, and he grabs her and kisses her. I don't know if we should be here for this. I feel like we should leave. Jenna's <laughs> just giggling in delight. She's like, nope, nope, we, I've got to make you guys, like, all the best desserts. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Jenna, Jenna, sit down and I will serve them. Don't you worry. Okay. All right, everyone. I'm not the cook. I'm just the bus boy, but I'm sure we can do something. <laughs> All right. And with that, probably come to a close. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I, I hope. I hope this was good for something. I hope everybody is able to remember to. That they can always reach out for help. They're not alone, and. Your feelings are valid. <laughs>